Hello everyone, Apple Buff here. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can enable picture in picture mode in YouTube app on any device running on iOS 14. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video and check how even you can enable that. So before we begin with today's video, I would like to give a huge shout out to Ferlik Mandag 89 on Reddit for making such a useful shortcut. For picture in picture to work on your YouTube app, you will need three shortcuts app and the shortcut that will create an action like this is in the description for you to download. Since this shortcut is from an untrusted source, so before getting downloaded, you will be prompted with a warning message something like this. So for that, you need to head over to the settings and turn allow untrusted shortcuts settings on to make this shortcut work. Simple as that. Along with Siri shortcut, you would need an app called Script Table, which basically is an automation app that makes use of JavaScript. It's available for free on the App Store for you to download. Once the app has been downloaded, all you have to do is just open the app and close it. Simple. Now open the YouTube app on your iPhone and run any video. I repeat, any video. While you are playing a video on YouTube, click on the share icon, then click more. From there, scroll down until you find the option for YouTube PIP, which is basically the added Siri shortcut. Clicking it will show up a pop-up message, which basically is a permission granting pop-up for Scriptable app to access YouTube. Click OK when the pop-up shows up and a loading screen will open up. Once the screen is done loading, along with your video, you will see quite a few options for your video to run in PIP. If you take a look closely, you can set the playback speed, whichever you want. Plus, you can even choose from the two streaming quality options given below. Once done, you can press the home button and enjoy watching the videos in PIP. It's that easy. I know, although it's a bit lengthy process, but still, it's worth doing if you really want to use PIP on YouTube app and not visit YouTube web for the same. So that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you like it. So if you did, then don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to this channel for weekly Apple related content. And catch you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.